friends and welcome to this devotional series. It's part of the greater series what we've been looking at on Sunday mornings at Northlands Church. And if you haven't watched those sermons, I'd encourage you to go to them. It's been a pivotal series for us. It's called Anchors for the Soul. And we've been investigating during this week's of devotions the anchor of God's love for us. We've looked in the last few days at how we can be reassured by God's love, how we can be rooted in God's love. And yesterday we looked at how we can be reliant on God's love. And in those moments when the sheer volume of rain has obscured our view and when there are no landmarks that we know visible, in those moments we learn to rely on the anchor, something that holds us internally, that we can take a firm grip on, that goes beyond the current storm we're facing, that'll keep us safe and keep us moving in the correct direction. And in order to have those kinds of anchors strong and firm, we have to fix our eyes on things beyond the storm. If we want to be anchored, Uh, It has to be from beyond the the waves that we're currently facing. Uh, If we want to be able to be held secure, it's going to have to be beyond these winds. We have to be anchored in eternal realities. And God's love and a firm understanding of God's love and experiential knowledge of His love is the best anchor for our souls. Now, I hope this message and this week's devotions have inspired you and galvanized you to seek out the love that God has for you. It's such an important anchor for our souls. And I'm praying that it's really touched your heart. And it's an anchor not just during tough times, but an anchor and a guide for all of our life. See, in our old Adamic nature, we were sold as slaves to sin. Love, God's love, was foreign to us. We were driven by the warped selfish ambition and greed and lust and rebellion. But since we have been born again, we've been given new natures, which have been created to be just like Jesus. Uh, where loving and and functioning in God's love is absolutely imperative. Ephesians 4.22 speaks about the celebration and cooperation with this new nature in Christ when it says you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, being corrupted by deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your mind and to put on your new self, created to be like God in true holiness and righteousness. Now, if you've been created to be just like God, 1 John 4 teaches us that God is love. So when you put on the new nature created to be just like Jesus, everything you do is supposed to be permeated with the love of God. You are designed in your new nature to work in it, to see through love's eyes, to think like love thinks, to forgive like love forgives. And it starts with a personal experience and revelation of that love, a baptism of love, if if you like, so that you can then share it. But it is absolutely essential for all believers. So we embrace love and all its practical outworking and we choose to work, uh, to walk in love and to walk in our new nature, putting on what belongs to us in Christ. In Corinthians 13, 4, Paul says, love is patient, love is kind doesn't envy, it doesn't boast, it isn't proud, it's not dishonoring of others, it's not self-seeking, not easily angered, keeps no record of wrongs, doesn't delight in evil, rejoices with the truth, always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always persevere, and it never fails. So today I'm just going to encourage you to embrace God's love. Make it an anchor for your soul. And if life is confusing and you can't seem to find direction and you don't know what to do, ask yourself this question. What is the most loving thing I can do? Remember, love is patience and kindness and gentleness and goodness and faithfulness. It's not just an emotion. It's a, it's a, it's a deciding to put on the nature of Christ. And ask yourself, what is the most loving thing I could do right now? Because you were designed to function in love. And that way lies the will of God for you. 1 John says, anyone who chooses to live in love lives in God. And God will live in them. Go to it today. Ask yourself this question. What is the most loving thing I could do? And it'll teach you. It'll be an anchor for your soul and a guide for your heart about where you're supposed to go. We miss you. Think about you all the time. We're praying for you every day. Can't wait to get back together again. God bless you.